Have you heard of XL lambda functions? They sound quite scary, and, and they can be, but they can also be really simple. I'm going to build a really simple one to help avoid those hash div zero errors. All right, let's go. So let me explain what I'm trying to do. I'm going to write a lambda, which is essentially a named formula that can avoid this. Yeah, equals this divided by this. That's great. But if you copy it down, you get that div zero. What you tend to do is wrap it in an if error or wrap it in an if budget equals zero, then do something else. And essentially we're going to write that formula, but we're going to name it as divide. And then we can just use that function in our Excel workbook. Power BI or DAX has a divide function, which does a very similar thing, which is awesome. So what, what do you do? How do you get started with a Lambda? Well, I strongly recommend you go to the add-ins and go to Excel labs. So let me show you this. This button might be somewhere different on your screen. I think I uninstalled it and then realized I needed to add it back. So it might be on a different spot, but it's the add-ins section. You can always go in the search box for add-ins. And I'm gonna go get add-ins. And in, in the store, search for the advanced, or search for Excel labs. And there's the Excel labs, a Microsoft Garage product, and add it in. Okay, and then it'll just show up here and if I click on it, you'll get these options for the advanced formula environment. That's what we're going to use. Sounds a bit scary, but it's actually quite a nice formula editor. The generative AI functionality, that's it be in my, one of my next videos. That's pretty cool as well. And then some Python stuff as well. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, let's open up this advanced formula editor. And here it is. Okay, and you can actually edit real life formulas in here. And there's a nice new debugger feature, which is pretty cool. So it debugs your code, which is very funky, right? If you've got a funky formula, it doesn't work on all formulas, like um, the filter function, it doesn't accept yet. I don't think it accepts XLOOKUP yet, which is a crime, all right? But that's pretty cool, okay? You can debug things like this, very funky. Okay, but then you can go to modules where you can give Almost like folders, your formulas, put your formulas into folders or modules. Not really necessary right now. And then I've written one already here called divide. Okay. And the way you can do it, you can just create one. Okay. You can just say add. Okay. And you give it a name, just call it demo. And you can give it a description. All right. And you can give it arguments. I really like using, it's almost like parameterizing your function. So let's just call it A comma B, just to keep it really simple. And in here, you've got this ability to pop this window out, make it bigger, okay? Control shift plus zooms you in, so you can really get to go to town with this. And you can say, okay, equals A, all right, plus B. That, that can be the simplest function in the world, okay? Done. So there's demo. So in here, I should be able to go equals demo. There we go. And a comma. All right, so that's, and that's formatted as a percentage. That's nothing to do with a lambda. That's just my, something I was playing about with earlier. There we go. Okay, so that's a lambda. Pretty simple. The function is basically saved in the name manager, formula, uh, name manager. It's in here, so it's a named formula. And you can do lots of other things with lambdas. It's really powerful. You can do crazy things, but that's a simple one, okay? Now, this one I've created here earlier was the divide function. So let me just show you this. Control shift plus to zoom in, okay? So you can make this as big as possible. You can edit this. So all I'm saying is I've got one argument called numerator, one called denominator. If the denominator equals zero, I've, built in some pre-built formatting for my zero numerator divided by denominator, okay? So here we go. If I go over here now and say equals divide, there it says numerator denominator. So let's highlight, actually let's highlight all these to show some dynamic arrays, not that you have to do it this way. There we go, like that. Press enter and it's given you a nice 
you know, div zero handling built in. So it follows the workbook around, or you can save these functions into what's a GitHub gist, which sounds really freaky and techy, but check it out. All right, so I've just got a little gist here, okay? It's pretty straightforward to set up um, GitHub, just sign up, sign in, and then essentially there's a little plus sign at the top here to create a new one. And you give it a name, okay? You can give it a file name if you want. Um, you can come in here and you know put your code in. So let me just go back to the one I created before. Okay, here's the one I had earlier. And then you actually, once you've created it, sorry, let me go back to show you that important bit. You just create this secret gist once you've created it, okay? And that's basically the URL. So if I go back here, okay, this URL, okay, is the one I can then download. So if I go back into this one, so before I download it, I'm just going to delete the existing one. Okay, so therefore, see, it's 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 broken. Um, and now I'm going to go and download this. And you can put it in a module. You can, it almost like adds a little folder type grouping. So you put logical functions inside, um, almost like prefixes. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let, let me just, you could leave it blank, but let me just call it, I don't know, special. Here we go, import. So here it is in a module. I can go to my modules and there's special and there's the function, okay? But see, this isn't working because if I go equals divide, there's nothing there, but there is a special divide, okay? That's the prefix, okay? So that's the module. So special divide, let's go and highlight uh, these, comma, these, press enter, and there's my special divide function. But if you don't put it in the module, you don't get that prefix. Okay, it's pretty cool. I really like it, okay? And I like this fact that, you know, you can now debug this stuff as well, which is pretty awesome. So there you go. How to handle, you know, get used to using a Lambda. You can import your Lambdas, you can store them in that gist, you can share them. I'll put a link to that one in the description below, so check it out. Let me know what you think. Is that useful? Have you played about with these things? Is this making you a bit less frightened of, of lambdas? Because they, they can be really complicated, but they can be really simple. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.